Hi everybody, welcome back to class. It's Mark and today is Sunday, July, excuse me, August 28th. And we're working on our second session of English 112. I want to tell everyone that I enjoyed reading all of your introductions and I enjoyed the discussion about the political cartoon. That was very interesting, so keep it up. Today we're going to be working in session two. And this is the first writing assignment that you will have for this class. It's fairly short, and there's a, a lot of reading to be done, but it's pretty manageable. So I'm jumping into the Session 2 folder. Uh, there's a number of readings under Visual Rhetoric, because we will be analyzing a piece of advertising to see what sort of appeal it is based on. So make sure you read everything contained within these folders. You will need all of it. And they're not terribly long. There's also a number of videos encoded in there. You'll want to take a look at those as well. There's a second readings folder on textual research. Make sure you read this one as well. Only three articles here, pretty manageable. But I want to spend most of our time today talking about this assignment. It's in the session two folder and it's right here on ad analysis. There's a PowerPoint that goes along with it. I already have that open, so we'll take a quick look at that, and then I'll show you some examples. Let me get back to the beginning. In your writing project, what you're going to be doing is picking an advertisement. It could be an image. It could be a YouTube video. Those are particularly fun to look at, but you can use either. If you do use a YouTube video, make sure you give me the address where you found it so I can go watch it myself. There are three types of appeals upon which almost all advertising is based, and we'll discuss those here briefly. Make sure you read through this entire PowerPoint. A Lojos appeal. It's a logical appeal. It's based on facts. It's based on data. And I'll show you an example of that. An ethos appeal is an an appeal that is based on the character of the person that is the spokesman or spokeswoman for the company for the product. And a pathos appeal is derived from an emotional state. It could be funny, it could be very serious, it could be sensual. Um, I'll show you an example of this one as well. And I'm not going to go through the rest of this because I know you will, but let's get to some examples. This one obviously is an advertisement that is designed to infer data. Comparing one thing against a competitor, it's a very logical appeal. Looking at this, you would almost immediately be persuaded to use Verizon Wireless over AT&T simply based on this image and the fact that they claim that they have more coverage than their competitor. Very straightforward. There's almost no text in this. It does say at the bottom, five times more 3G coverage but you may not even need to read that because the image is so powerful. That's Reggie Bush from the New Orleans Saints. You barely notice that he's holding a glass of milk in one hand. Your eye might be drawn to the football helmet in the other. And they're using his stature as a celebrity, as a successful athlete, to endorse this product. As I mentioned, the milk, although it says got milk at the bottom, you almost don't see it. What you do see is the stature of this individual. And if he's good with the product, then you should be too. That's the implied message. I'll make this one a little bit larger. Obviously, you can tell the emotional state that this, this advertisement is designed to give to the viewer. It's very erotic, obviously. And it's giving to potential customers a very firm suggestion of what this product is and what it's associated with. And again, like the other ones, uh, there's almost no text in it. You see the box of Cialis in the foreground, but you almost notice the couple more than you do the product. That's on purpose. 
So after you've looked at the PowerPoint and considered what it is you're going to do, let's take a look at the instructions for this assignment. If my computer will cooperate. Oh, it's moving slow. Maybe it's due to the heat. It is awfully warm outside. So for this project, you can pick the advertisement that interests you most. However, I do want you to avoid these subjects. If you have picked one that is close to one of these subjects or is very controversial, controversial, just go ahead and shoot me a text and I'll tell you if it's okay or not. As it says, the purpose of this is to apply critical thinking skills to visual rhetoric. The audience for this is going to be me and the other people in the class. It's going to be about 700 to 800 words. How long is that? Well, that's certainly two full pages, maybe a little bit more. So shoot for about two and a half. Of course, we are writing in MLA format in this class, not APA. Make sure you do it in MLA format. And if you have questions about formatting, go ahead and shoot me a text as well. I also want to tell you about one other resource. This is the go-to resource, not only in our state, but pretty much every state in the country, and that is the Purdue OWL, the Online Writing Lab. Some of you may be familiar with this, but anytime you have a question about formatting, this is the go-to source. They know everything. And it even gives you advice here about using URLs if you're using a YouTube video uh, about how to insert that into your paper. Might want to bookmark that one. It's pretty good. And again, only MLA, not APA. The whole point of this is to tell us who this ad is designed to appeal to what is the context, what is the product, what is maybe the advertising agency that produced it, what is the purpose of it, most times it's going to be to sell a product, but not necessarily all, the, all of the time, what is the tone, the arrangement of the things in the ad, the ones I showed you were very simple, you might find something, particularly if it's a YouTube video, that are much more dramatic and contain a lot more information. So look at the setting, how is it set up, how is it established? And why do things appear where they do? As it says here, you want to make your writing as vivid as possible. So even if we're not looking at the ad, we can picture it in our mind's eye. But most importantly, what you want to spend the majority of your time talking about is how is the appeal based? Is it pathos? Is it logos? Is it ethos? And why? When you look through the PowerPoint, that will give you a lot more information than I'm doing in this very brief video. When you're finished with it, you, of course, you can always send it to tutor.com for a free proofread. I recommend that. You're going to submit it here. It's only a 50-point assignment. We're trying to give you a soft landing at the start of class. Notice that there's a comments box here. You don't have to use this if you want to say simply, hi, Mark, here's my assignment. That's fine. But what I want to tell you, and I know you're all seasoned students by this point, but it does occasionally come up. Never put your essay here. Just don't do it. Attach it as a file. It has to be a Microsoft Word. I know there's probably some students in the class that are using Apple products. That's fine. But it has to be Microsoft Word. And again, we're using MLA format. That means everything is 12-point type. There is no cover page, and everything is in the font Times New Roman. Again, if you have questions, shoot me a text. And then once you've attached your file, simply hit Submit, and you'll be done. And I think we may have covered any, everything. Again, there's a lot of reading this time, one PowerPoint to look at, no discussion board, but you do have to turn in the Ad Analysis Project by September 4th, so one week from today by 11.59 p.m. 
What's the best way to stay in touch with me? Well, I know I say this a lot, but I like to repeat it. Text me anytime at 812-498-4200. If you want to send me an email, it's M-S-T-E-N-G-E-R and the number one at ivytech.edu. You're welcome to call me, 800-416-1747. I'll take your call anytime. That's it for this week, everybody. Hope you have a great week. Stay in touch.